Thanks, Shens, for agreeing to um, talk to me about, about your book. I've got a few questions for you. Um, and the first one I wanted to ask you, uh, really, to um, get the discussion going, was why focus on posh kids? Um, part of the reason I'm interested in focusing on posh kids, uh, the wealthy, um, is because when we look at patterns of inequality over the last 40 years, it's really been the increase in the wealth of the rich that's driven inequality. So a kind of methodological point here is that if you have uh, something that's changed, uh, you can't explain that change by a constant. You have to explain it by something else that's also changed. And if we look at the position of the middle classes or even the poor in the United States over the last 40 years, we see they've pretty much been locked in place. Um, but we also know that inequality has increased considerably. Um, so we know it's not really the middle class and poor that are explaining um, the rise in inequality. It has to be something else. And that something else is the rich getting a lot richer. And so for me, the reason I focus on the rich or the posh is because they're where a lot of the action is. And typically when we do studies of inequality, we don't always think about the rich. We usually think about the poor. 